Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to use JavaScript for clicking an element during Selenium automation. So let's get started. Selenium has its own command that is click command for clicking an element. But sometimes this click command of Selenium may not work in that cases we have to use the JavaScript way of clicking an element. So let me show you practically all this stuff. For that, uh, I'll open this browser and I'll take you to some sample application, say omai.blogspot.com. And on this page, there's a button here. I would like to click this button with the help of normal Selenium click. It's going to work. So I'll just copy this URL. I'll show you the Selenium way of clicking the elements. So I'll use a click command of Selenium to click on this button. I'll inspect this button now. Once I inspect this button, you see this particular button has an ID. Copy this ID. This HTML code of this particular button that I want to click, this ID of the button. Here I'll write down driver dot find element by dot ID, provide the ID of that particular button. And simply we have to use a Selenium command that is click command. This click command belongs to Selenium. Now, after clicking, what will happen if I manually click? You see, I'm getting an alert. This proves that the button has been clicked. If you're, if you're able to see an alert on the page, means the button has been clicked. So here, I'll just for demo purpose, I'll add time.sleep so that you can see that whether the alert is coming or not in the time. After that, I'll quit the browser. Okay. Now run the script using the normal Selenium way. I'm clicking on that button. This will work in this case. Okay. This click command of Selenium is going to click on that button. And you see, you got the alert also. That means the button has been click to get alert button has been clicked and you got the alert. It is working fine. But sometimes what happens during real time is very rarely what happens is this click command of Selenium may not work. Okay. This click command of Selenium may not work. In that cases, we have to run some JavaScript code. Okay. If this normal click command of Selenium doesn't work, in that case, we have to run some JavaScript code for clicking on the button. How to write the JavaScript code? There are two ways. With a JavaScript, if you want to click an element on the page, instead of using Selenium command, if you want to use JavaScript for clicking an element, there are two ways. There are two ways. I'm going to show you first way. Okay, I'm going to show you the first way. That is, uh, I'll simply say driver dot. How to run the JavaScript code from Selenium? You have to say execute script, right? In Selenium Python, you have to use this command execute script. Here, provide double quotes. In between the double quotes, you provide some JavaScript code. Uh, what I will do here is I'll go to the console and, you know, I'll create a DOM statement, okay? DOM statement uh, uh, to click on this uh, button directly, okay? So first I'll inspect this button. It has an ID. I'll copy this ID of this button. And now I'll go to the console and create a DOM statement that is document.getElement by ID. And here, uh, inside the circular brackets in single quotes, I'll give, give the ID of this particular button and now say dot click. This is a command. Okay. This is a JavaScript click. This is not Selenium click. Now press enter. You see the button is getting clicked and you're getting this alert. Copy the same thing. Copy the same ja DOM statement from here and go here and in between the execute script command, you just paste it. Okay. You have directly created DOM statement which clicks on that button and you will be able to see a alert. Uh, if alert is coming means the button has been clicked on this particular application. Well, let's see. Here I'm not using the normal Selenium click, rather I'm using the JavaScript way of clicking, the one of the way of JavaScript thing, I can say, for clicking on that button. So in real time, sometimes the Selenium click may not work. In that case, we have to go with the, this way of JavaScript click. Let's see whether the alert is coming. You see the button has been clicked, right? The button has been clicked, you got this alert. That proves that, okay, this alert is coming means the button has been clicked. So it's working fine. There's another way. There's another way. Instead of writing that this kind of DOM statement, there's another way. I'll remove this. Still, I have to write the JavaScript code, but uh, I'm going to show you another way of way in JavaScript way of you know clicking that particular button or element on the page. The first way I showed you. Now the second way is this way using arguments and all. For this way, I'll be not using the DOM statement. Okay, not for example here in the uh, in the first way of JavaScript way, right? I have used the DOM statement to locate this button, right? Document dot get element by ID. Here, I'm not going to use a JavaScript way. Rather, I'll create a web element uh, with the Selenium way. With the Selenium way only, I'll locate this button, but click will be done by JavaScript, okay? Like that, I'll do. 
So you already know the idea of this particular button, right? This idea of the button. So I'll create a web element here for that particular button, the driver dot find element by dot ID, give the idea of that particular button and uh, uh, just create a web element that is, uh, you know, button. So like this one button name I gave, this is a web element. I'll copy this web element and I'll put a comma here. Here I'm going to write some JavaScript code. Before I write some JavaScript code, I'll copy this uh, uh, web element here and put it here. And uh, this may have, this may contain, this execute script can contain more than one arguments, like button can be one thing, okay? Uh, checkbox, you can keep on writing, okay? How many web elements you want to represent, you can keep on uh, writing like this, but I don't, in this example, I don't have this many web elements, okay? I have only one web element. This web element is at the index zero. If you have multiple web elements, like you can see button two, button three, like that, if you have some web elements, right? Uh, let's say button X, button, a, let's say some multiple web elements are there. In this case, what will happen is this will be zero, this will be one, this will be two and so on, okay? I'll remove this because this kind of web elements are not existing in our script. Now only one web element is there and this is at the index zero. So to refer to this web element, which is at the index zero of this execute script command, I have to write this arguments, arguments of zero. And what is the JavaScript command? Dot click only, right? Dot click, I have to say. This is from JavaScript, dot click is from JavaScript. And it's going to click on this argument uh, zero, which is nothing but a web element uh, for that button, okay, which will display an alert on clicking on that application, example application. Now run the script and see whether the button is getting clicked or not. There's a second way in JavaScript uh, to click on the button in Selenium automation scripts. See, you see the button has been clicked and you got this alert, okay? Either of these ways you can use, either you can write the complete DOM statement to click on that button or element uh, using the JavaScript way, okay? Or you can use this, this other way where you are finding the element with the help of Selenium and uh, that element you are clicking using JavaScript. Okay, This click belongs to JavaScript here. Entire thing belongs to the DOM statement and JavaScript thing. So these are the two ways. So we have to go with the JavaScript way of clicking an element only when the normal click in Selenium library doesn't work. Okay, Very rarely that may happen. In that case, you will go with the JavaScript click. Okay? So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.